item beneath ice uncovers a 14,000-year-old enigma. Alicia Govro moved with steady hands as she transferred the samples over. It wasn't much to work with, and therefore like scientific gold. The hours of waiting were excruciating and they chatted and debated with excitement. However, when the results came back, no one uttered a word. This had to be a mistake. It had been a long-running debate between the scientific community and the First Nation indigenous people of British Columbia's Great Bear Rainforest. The arguments were over the island of Trike. The Hiltsuk said it was theirs by ancestral rights. Scientists say it was impossible. Why were they so sure? Since Canada was covered during the last ice age, any settlements in the area would have been unimaginable. The area was a place of transit over the land bridge between Siberia and Alaska, nothing more. On the other hand, the Haltsuk had oral traditions passed down through thousands of years. Archaeologists finally agreed to look into it. The small group of scientists, including Alicia Govro, made their way to Trike. The area was stunning, like an enormous bonsai garden. They set up their workstations and immediately got to excavating. It was deep under many layers of earth that they found something shocking. Something that should not have been there. It was an ancient, wood-burning hearth. Everyone looked at each other in confusion. The area would have been buried deep under ice at the time. To dig down through layers of ice and snow was insane. But if there was one thing under the earth, there had to be more. Alicia felt her heart pump as she swept the dirt away. The next thing they found was a collection of large tools. How is this possible? Alicia asked, holding a piece of obsidian in her hand. What they knew about the Hiltsuk was they had been fishermen of small creatures. Not enormous ones like the item suggested. Guys, another digger said, I think I found something else. He pointed to streaks and bits of black. It was ancient pieces of charcoal that had been preserved with the hearth. Alicia rushed to take a closer look. We need to carbon date this, now. The item was rushed off to the labs along with hundreds of unanswered questions. It was clear that people had lived there, but how did they survive the ice? Why were there tools for large creatures instead of small? How did all of this tie in with the Haltsuk's oral history? She had the sneaking suspicion that everything they thought was going to change. And how did the first people already know? The results appeared on the screen. No, 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 one of them said. That's impossible. That would put it a solid 2,000 years before. Another turned the monitor to take a closer look. But that means there wasn't even ice there. What was the number that had they all stumped? Carbon dating puts the settlement at 14,000 years old. Not only did that make the site home to the oldest remains in North American history, but globally it was older than the pyramids of Giza. Their entire thinking had to shift, and a new picture of history appeared which was astonishing. What did it look like? First, the island area wouldn't have been covered by the continental glacier. It also means that they would have needed boats, which hadn't even been invented yet, as far as scientists knew. The tools also started to make more sense. It wasn't small fish they hunted. The large creatures of the age could have fair game for food. Also, with the constant sea level, and erosion of the islands over 15,000 years, the Haltsuk were fairly protected from the large predators that would have normally plagued a settlement. They brought their findings to the tribe. Their reaction is exactly what you would expect. They looked at the archaeologists with a mix of amusement and a significant amount of, we told you so. It wasn't just the physical discoveries that were unbelievable, it was the fact that the tribe had passed down an accurate history for tens of thousands of years. Soon, however, a new problem emerged. The world was so caught up with the find, that the focus was on the items and numbers, rather than the Hiltsuk, their amazing history, and the right they had to the island. Alicia felt a large pang of guilt. The archaeology community had been so arrogant and now the real truth was being ignored. She stepped in. Alicia worked to reshift the conversation back to the Haltsuk and to the oldest land claim in the world. People don't usually think of Canada as a place of ancient wonders, but now, the British Columbia tribe has shown the world a different, amazing reality.